to a brand new video. So recently Hyunjin from Stray Kids did a live and in this live he spoke about his skincare routine and as you guys all know I'm obsessed with Korean skincare. I am always on the lookout for new products to make my skin look extra glowy and healthy. So today for this video I thought why not dive into his routine because as we all know he literally has the most amazing skin ever. He also mentioned in that same live that he goes to a dermatologist, so I'm pretty sure that his routine is just spot on. So let's explore the key steps of his routine together in this video. Skincare routine is routine. So as you saw, he starts off by speaking about toner. Now, toner is an essential step in everybody's skincare routine. I cannot stress enough how important it is and how much I love this step. Yet I feel like so many people don't seem to see the importance of toner or it's something that they skip, especially if maybe you guys are not following a K-beauty regime yet, then you might not even have heard of toner. Um, so just a little recap for those who are unfamiliar with this step. Toner is really important because it is a step that comes after cleansing. So a toner can help you get rid of the last traces of dirt and sebum that are still on your face even after double cleansing. A toner can also protect the skin, it like seals up the pores. And this makes sure that your skin is protected way better against environmental stressors like for example pollution. And then it's also amazing because it comes after cleansing and before applying any other step like your serums, your ampoules, your creams, etc. And it actually makes sure that all those products get absorbed way better because when the skin is wet, it is proven that the product can penetrate the deep layers of the skin. Um, and that's obviously what you want. You don't want to waste any product. You want it to be deeply absorbed in your skin. So that's another reason why toner is so amazing. I feel like my camera is a little too bright. No, I think it's good right now, right? Okay, um, last but not least, it also makes sure that it soothes and replenishes the skin. And that is probably the reason why I love toner the most because, you know, I have very sensitive skin. I also have some redness. I don't know if you're able to tell right now, but like there is some redness around my cheeks. Um, I would say I have like a very, very mild form of rosacea. And that is just because I have such sensitive skin. So my skin barrier gets damaged really easily. And this is something that flares up when I am really stressed. Or for example, when I don't drink enough water, which reminds me, oh my gosh, I need to stay hydrated, guys. One of my goals for this year was to drink more water, but there has not been a single day. <laughs> I'm so ashamed to say this. Um, on which I reached my eight glasses. And I know that's ridiculous, but I just always forget. But anyways, it flares up, uh, you know, when I'm dehydrated or when I'm stressed, but also after eating spicy food or being in the cold temperatures of the Netherlands because it's March and it's still so cold, guys. I'm freezing here. Um, so yeah, in order to really soothe my skin, I feel like a toner is an essential step for me. And although I don't know exactly what kind of toner Hyunjin uses because he did not mention that, I want to include my personal favorite toners in this video so you guys can get, you know, a little bit of inspiration. And we're going to start off with the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice one. So this one is made with fermented black rice and maybe you guys can see it already. Uh, like I have used a ton of this bottle already and I have finished so many other bottles. It's very well loved. This is formulated with fermented black rice and it makes sure that your skin is deeply hydrated but it also helps restore elasticity which you know I'm 27 now so I need to you know also think about anti-aging and you know taking my collagen supplements and of course 
including products in my routine that take care of you know fine lines and wrinkles and help with elasticity because i want to keep my face as young as possible and this is a little bit of a different toner than your usual standard toner i would say that normally toner has a very water-like texture most toners are just you know they look like water they are so runny but this one has a more like a thicker consistency it's almost like an essence yeah it's really hard to show you guys on camera i wish that you guys could feel this together with me but it has a very smooth silky finish um and it feels very nice and yeah soft on the skin then i want to show you guys this toner this one is by skin 1004 this contains pha glucono lactone and this is a gentle exfoliator which i love so much like every single product of this madagascar centella line is so amazing they're all my favorites but especially this toner is one that i really love and that i totally recommend this one definitely has a more runny water-like consistency um yeah it feels very nice and refreshing so like i said this one is formulated with pha and pha has a larger molecule molecule i feel like i always say that so weirdly molecule size than other chemical exfoliants and that is perfect because that makes it more surface based and perfect for sensitive skins like mine so you will see throughout this video everything is kind of targeted towards the more sensitive skin types i also have some that are not specifically targeted towards that but you know because i have sensitive skin these are all products that work with my skin so um yeah keep that in mind but i feel like you know every skin type can benefit from some gentle ingredients so um yeah if you have not tried out pha before definitely recommend trying it out it also of course contains star ingredients centella asiatica that's what this whole um, madagascar centella line is based on and that makes sure that your skin is deeply hydrated and then it also includes niacinamide which is another one of my favorite ingredients which helps with anti-aging and besides that also with things like hyperpigmentation and fine lines and then last but not least this one so this one is actually my favorite toner of all time i cannot live without this this one is so good this is the route lab docto toner and guys i obviously don't know which products hyunjin uses exactly but if i had to guess then i think that this one has a very high chance to be included in his skincare routine and i don't say that just because this is my favorite toner this one actually ranked number one in the toner category on skincare app Huahe. it's actually korea's number one beauty app and people leave reviews on there it's like a thing there and besides that this one also won many olive young awards olive young is a huge skincare and beauty store it's like the sephora of south korea and um because this has so many awards and because it's so popular i don't know how many thousands of bottles are sold every second but it's like a crazy number this is like a viral toner so um you know there is a chance that hyunjin uses this or has seen this but even if he hasn't just trust me this one is so good so like the previous one that i just showed you the skin uh 1004 one this one is very runny like it has a water-like consistency and actually this is a toner that i will be putting on my skin today so this is the first layer but actually in that video hyunjin explained that he layers his toner so after just one layer he applies another layer onto his skin and i like to personally layer my toners as well so uh, that is perfect let's just do it a third time um so this one is actually formulated with deep sea water 
and that makes sure that your skin stays extra moisturized because this deep sea water protects the moisture balance. It's also formulated with sugarcane extract, which brightens and smooths the skin. And then it also includes panthenol, which I think is one of the best ingredients because it soothes irritated skin. So then in that live, Hyunjin explains that he washes his hair and then he dries his hair and puts on a headband. And I've actually seen him wear a similar headband to this one before, so that is the reason why I'm wearing this today. Uh, but yeah, he probably looks way better in that hat band, but you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to look as cute. But anyways, he says that afterwards he spritzes on another toner. You guys saw the, the spritzing motion that he did. I thought, you know, there's only one spray toner that I have in my collection. This one is also really popular. It could be that he uses this one. It is a possibility. Again, I don't know for sure. But anyways, this is a really good toner spray that I wanna recommend to you. It's by the brand CauseRx. Uh, you might've heard of it. It's also really popular um, in South Korea, but also outside of South Korea. This is an AHA and BHA clarifying treatment toner. That is a mouthful. And I'm just gonna spritz it. <laughs> Everything is like dripping on my floor. This toner both contains AHA and BHA exfoliants. And the AHA ingredient that is in this is 10% apple fruit water which sounds so delicious but apparently it's also really good for the skin and then it also contains 10 percent willow bark water which is the bha ingredient and aha ingredients are known to get rid of dead skin cells and impurities and the bha ingredients remove sebum from the pores and make your skin look super soft and smooth so then it is time for Essence, another CauseRx product. This is Snail Mucin Power Essence. And I know sometimes people are a little bit apprehensive about snail products because, you know, the idea of it maybe isn't what they usually would gravitate towards, but snail products are so amazing, especially again, if you have sensitive skin or you have skin that feels a little bit irritated, you just wanna calm down your skin, this is perfect. So for my skincare routine today, I'm gonna uh, spritz on a toner because you know I wanna do exactly what Hyunjin said, but he didn't specify if he was using the same toner that he previously layered or that he's using a different toner. I don't know, but I personally like to stick to one toner whilst layering toners. Layering toners is a very popular technique. I know some people layer it seven times. I usually do like one, two, three times. That's like the range. Um, usually it's one or two, but if I feel extra fancy, it's three. But right now, because we're doing Hyunjin's routine, before I apply my essence, I wanna you know, spritz something on. So I'm actually gonna put my round left toner that we just applied in this spray bottle so I can spritz it on my face. So I actually think that applying toner in different ways is so much fun. I also do toner packs very often or like toner mask, however you wanna call it. It's like this DIY toner mask where I put these um, toner pads on my face infused with my favorite toner and I let it sit for about like 15 minutes and then oh, it feels so hydrating um, but also just splashing it on or spritzing it on is really fun and I have to say I haven't spritzed on a toner in a while but gosh that feels very refreshing I might do this more often now that Summertime, hopefully. Oh, I got a little bit of that in my eye. Keep your eyes closed whilst doing this. Um, now that summertime is starting to be right around the corner, well, I hope that it's right around the corner because, you know, I really miss the sunshine. Um, I'm gonna do this more often because it feels so cooling. But anyways, now that my skin is wet, I just told you wet skin absorbs the products way better. Um, then we're gonna use this um, advanced snail mucin power essence. Nice and slimy, as you guys can see. Definitely one of my faves. Also, if you just get started 
with Korean skincare. I feel like Cosrx is a really safe brand to use. A lot of people like products from them. They're really popular. And in my opinion, they're also not too, too pricey. Uh, I have applied my essence. And now I, when I first got into skincare, I was always doubting, you know, what is the difference between essence and serum because I just could not understand it. I could not see the difference. I felt like these products are so similar. What is this all about? And to be very honest, I hadn't even heard of essence before I started using K-Beauty. I had just heard of serums, not that I used them. Like my skincare routine was not it before I started this. Um, but you know, I've learned throughout the years. I think I started my journey back in like 2019. So it's been a good number of years to make up for all the bad skincare of before that time. But anyways, essences are designed to hydrate and nourish the skin. And they usually contain ingredients like we just saw, like snail mucin. And serums, on the other hand, contain a lot of potent active ingredients, like for example, vitamin C. Serums are usually targeted towards very specific skincare concerns and even though sometimes um, essences also have active ingredients serums contain a higher concentrated version of these active ingredients so um, right now I want to show you guys this one this is such a good vitamin C serum I recently just discovered this and I was amazed because usually vitamin C serums are like way too harsh for my skin but this one actually works with my skin type as well with sensitive skin another serum that I really like is this one from Choradon and this one is a deeply moisturizing and hydrating serum it's from their dive in collection and oh, this one is so good. That one uses low molecular, molecular, see, I cannot say that word, molecule, molecular, low molecular, <laughs> forgive me, please, low molecular hyaluronic acid. And um, it is great if you need extra moisturization, extra hydration. But then the serum that we're going to use in this video is actually this one by Beauty of Joseph. This is their glow serum with propolis and niacinamide. And because Hyunjin has such an amazing glowy skin, I know that he says that, well, he didn't mention if he used serum, but I'm gonna use serum regardless in this video. Um, actually, he mentioned just a few ingredients, uh, ingredients, I mean, a few steps. He didn't even mention that he uses a specific type of cleanser or, yeah, described his cleansing method. Uh, but he did say that after the essence step, he uses a lot of cream. When they say, I use a lot of cream, I imagine him like slathering himself in this cream. cream I know there is this trend going on that's like slugging. Um, I think that's what it's called. It's when you apply your moisturizer, you apply lots of it, and then you apply Vaseline on top of it so that it stays locked in your skin. I can imagine Hyunjin doing something like that, but I don't know how good slugging is. So maybe probably his dermatologist won't agree with that. But anyways, we do know that he slathers on a lot of cream. That's what he said. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. And I think the cream that I will be using today is going to match my aesthetic. It's this pink AHA BHA cream. And the reason why I picked this out is because this is from Nacific. And I don't know if you guys know this, but Stray Kids are actually Nacific ambassadors. And so I imagine that they must have used their products. I mean, that's what good ambassadors do. So I'm pretty sure that they have some of them in their collection. And because Hyunjin is like our coquette boy, uh, I feel like pink, you know, would suit him very well. This pink cream is just so gorgeous. And we're gonna put a lot of this on. This is formulated with 75% watermelon acid and also with hyaluronic acid to replenish hydration. I'm gonna put on a lot more than I would usually do. Really slather myself <laughs> in this cream. And then the last step 
of Hyunjin's skincare routine is face masks. Usually when people in South Korea mention face masks, they mean sheet masks because they are the most popular form of face masks there are. And this one is just so amazing because this is like a whole container full of it. I can't imagine him using face masks every single day because that's what a lot of people do actually in South Korea. It's not a form of like a pamper moment, like a true self-care spa-like moment, like oh, I accidentally grabbed two, you know, one for you as well. It's not so much a spa moment. Um, I feel like here, you know, especially here in the Netherlands, people don't use masks very often and it's often like a treat, but in South Korea, it's very normal to do this before a day of work. You know, it's part of your daily routine, it's very common, and that's why they also sell huge packs like that with sheet masks for an entire month. I will leave this on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I will come back to you with the end result of this routine. A few moments later. Okay guys, it is a little bit later and I feel like it is time to take off my sheet mask. So did you actually know that you should never leave your sheet mask on till it's dry because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of it. You should always leave it on till it's like 80% dry. I always just um, massage the remaining essence onto my skin. So that was my Hyunjin inspired routine. Please let me know if you want to see more skincare videos and if so, what kind of skincare videos. And then I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!